Hi, my name is Lorenzo Nardi, and in this video I'm going to talk about our approach to planning uncertainty aware paths on road networks. Consider a robot that navigates on a road network using a laser-based localization system. In the current belief about its position, the robot cannot disambiguate intersections A and B, as they present a similar structure. Given this belief, the robot has to reach a goal location. The most likely position of the robot is at intersection B. Considering this as the true position of the robot, it should turn right to reach the goal along the shortest path. However, if the actual position of the robot is at A, turning right will lead the robot to a long detour. In this situation, a better decision would be to navigate up towards intersection C, which presents a distinctive structure and where the robot can make the turn with a lower risk of going for a long detour. We plan this kind of uncertainty-aware strategies by considering a map of the environment provided by a publicly available map service from which we extract information about roads and buildings. Given this information, we define a Markov decision process in which, for each intersection, we consider a set of states augmented with a degree of uncertainty about the position of the robot. We explicitly consider this uncertainty in the planning process. We define a transition function for these states by computing a localization prior from the geometry of the environment and by combining it with an extended Kalman filter. The resulting Markov decision process allows for planning strategies that trade off safety and travel time. We compare our approach with a shortest path policy and a policy that always selects the safest action, ignoring the current position uncertainty. The safest path policy performs similarly for different degrees of uncertainty. If the position uncertainty is low, the shortest path policy presents in average short travel time. However, following the shortest path with large position uncertainty may cause the robot to make mistakes and go in for long detours. Therefore, it requires on average longer time. Our approach presents similar performance as the shortest path if the uncertainty is low, whereas it performs similarly to the safest path policy if the uncertainty becomes large. Thank you for your attention.